so my name is Sarah Graham. I'm from Nelson, and I've lived here my whole life. Um, I love this town and everything that surrounds it, and throughout my life I have always nurtured a deep sense of wonder and respect for the natural world, especially a part that is separate from humans. I love hiking, and many hours of my childhood were spent in the Alpine, playing make-believe and finding fairy homes. I like to think that, I'm, that I belong here, that I'm a part of the trees and the soil and the mountains and lakes that I love so much but I feel strongly like there's something missing. I have a feeling that I am and will always be a visitor here, that the border between visiting and belonging is there. And sometimes it's invisible, but I can feel it hard and strong and impossible. My family descends mostly from Britain, moving to Canada only a few generations ago, and then to the far west coast. And I often wonder if I would feel more of a connection to the coast maybe to the Cowichan Valley, a land that my ancestors cared for, walked barefoot on and loved. Or maybe even as far away as Britain, could I feel a connection to a place that I've never been? Would a semblance of the feeling of home still remain? Sometimes when I'm in the mountains, I feel a disconnect and a lack of right. I have so much love and respect for the nature around me, but I feel like it holds me at arm's length, separating itself from me. And I, wonder if it, uh, and I wonder if it's because I'm human or if it's because I just don't belong here. Is it okay that I want to belong to this land? Because if it's not my home, then where is? I would like to imagine myself a descendant of this place, to think of my grandfather's and grandmother's elders walking on the same soil as I, <clears throat> that they knew the magic and the secrets of this place, a knowledge that has since been forgotten. But my family never walked here. I wonder if you feel it too. I wonder if you've ever heard the forest and not just sat in the quiet, but really listened. And I wonder if you've ever noticed when you're walking or hiking that the footfalls and breath drown out all the other noise and you think you're submerged in the forest, but you're not. Because you can't hear it, it can hear you. That is not what the forest sounds like. And I wonder what it's like to be in the forest, but not as a human. To be a plant or an animal that believes as all do that we belong here, that we belong and that we're a part of the earth. I want to know what it's like to exist in my natural habitat. But human bodies have grown clumsy and ignorant, and we no longer know how to be a part of it. If you feel this feeling of separation, it is because we isolated ourselves. Isolated ourselves so wholly and so completely that we, we believed we were separate. And now nature believes it too. I remember running through the forest with my brother, pretending we were deer. We chose our footsteps meticulously and carefully, avoiding noise. But our uneven distribution of weight and our lack of practice betrayed us every time. And I remember wanting so bad to run like a deer run, so silently and so perfect. And I remember realizing the impossibility of that dream. I remember. I like to think that soil holds impressions, that every foot placed upon it remembers us, and leaves a, uh, that every foot placed upon it leaves a memory behind. And the grounds and the mountains and the streams that we drink from remember us. I could be wrong, and if I am, then every place I've ever been is the same to the land. Because to that place, I am just another human who will come and go. But I prefer to imagine the former, that everywhere I go, I leave a piece of myself behind. That every time I reach out and touch wildflowers with admiration, I leave a piece of that feeling behind and a piece of myself. I want the earth to know me for my impression, for my intention. From my footprints on the ground, from my fingerprints on, left on the leaves and the bark of trees, I want the earth to know me. And if it holds a memory of me, then surely it holds a memory of every human, of the first people, people whose blood still runs through me, even if I'm not directly related. As a nation, Canada consists mostly of immigrants. We are people who have come here generations ago, long enough that our heritage and traditions are mostly lost, forgotten, or adapted. 
We are a people without the wisdom of our ancestors in a land that is not our own. And with each generation, we're slipping farther and farther away from the solution to this problem. Because we have less, and so pass on less, knowledge, less understanding, and less respect for our home to our children. It scares me. I'm afraid that I will never experience this connection that I ache for, to belong to nature and to belong in nature. I'm afraid that the longing for this connection will begin to disappear from our hearts and our minds. And I'm afraid that people will never care enough to find what it is that we've lost. I'm afraid. I want to feel the bare, the, I want to feel the soil under my bare skin and know that I belong. I want to hear a bird sing and know that it sings for me as well as all things in this world. I want to know that I am not separate, but I'm a part of something whole and living and beautiful. And I want every person to feel this, to feel the weight of the absence of this connection, the connection between ourselves and another part of ourselves, the part which is nature. Thank you.